Hi everyone, I'm Jan from Jan Plans Things and welcome to this um, video that I'm doing with notebook therapy. So today is a little bit different. Um, notebook therapy um, contacted me and asked me if I would be willing to do a giveaway and I thought this would be fantastic and they let me pick a couple of um, items from their shop and I thought I'd do something a little bit different. So I picked basically a set of three items that I thought um, I could show you guys how to use a little bit differently um, and then basically show you how I would um, use something like these which seem to be very popular nowadays which are the watercolor brush pens and um, show them show you guys how I would basically paint with these. So with the watercolor brush pens, which we'll go through in a little bit more detail soon. Um, I also got this really cute um, pencil case, which is a nice bright, bright, bright pink color. Obviously, I picked the one with the cat on it because I love cats, as you guys know. Um, I haven't opened this one yet. Kind of cute. And I think um, this would be excellent to hold all the pens in when you're on the go. And you can slide like extra washi tapes and stuff in here as well, which is excellent. So there's that and then also this notebook so um this one i actually asked for um a watercolor journal so let's see if i can open this get some scissors there we go handy now picked these because of the really gorgeous um, artwork on the front, these little mushrooms. And let me show you here. They have a, um, they have this like stitch binding on the side, which you can kind of see it's like glue. And this, I think this will help it lay flat. And if I open it up, you kind of see how it lays flat like this. So um, it's got stitch binding all the way through. And then when you open it up, you can see it closes up like this. So I'll take slide this off as well. This one stuck a little bit to the glue. Oops. No problem. And now you can see um, now you can see the front of the notebook. Now this is a bit exposed but that's okay. So it's like this really cute little mushrooms on the front and then a little smaller one on the back. So I thought this was really nice and the paper itself is like a nice, like lovely thicker paper. And I'm hoping to use this more as like a sketchbook. So, and that's that one. And then for the watercolor pens, these are watercolor brush pens. And I think um, they're pretty popular nowadays. You can see a lot of people using them. It's also because Sometimes watercolors just aren't that convenient. So something like this could work pretty well. So um, the box comes like this. It's got little, it's got these cute little brush pens inside. It also comes with a aqua brush, which is, um, it's kind of like this. So they have like a synthetic tip. And if I brush, pop this in water, you can kind of see you come to a point. And then what you would normally do with these is you would unscrew them. There we go. And you would fill this up with water. And then you can kind of use this. Um, you can use this to paint basically. But to save myself from moving too much, I might not fill this one up while I'm while I'm filming. So there's that one. And then um, it comes with, I think, 20 colors and um, they're all water soluble. So basically they come with this, they come with a little brush tip and they also come with that same nylon tip. So they're actually um, bristles themselves. They're not like a felt tip pen that you might get with say the Tombow, um, the Tombow jewel tip pens. Let me see if I can show you. So this is the Tombow jewel tip pen. And that has a spongy tip, like a felt tip. Whereas this one actually has a tip that's made of all bristles. So it, I think it'll look more like brushwork when you're using them. So what I think I might do is I'll show you like a couple of ways to use pens like this. 
So what we'll need, um, need for an exercise like this is obviously your pens and also some water for painting with and a palette. And I'm going to use this plate. Um, this is just a regular um, porcelain plate. Porcelain plates are really, really good because I'll show you when I pick one of these pens up to draw with. It's very easy for you to lift the paint off afterwards. And then you can also kind of see, like I'll do a little test thing with this. You can see me, how the bristles spread when I write with them. And the porcelain is good because then you can also pick up the next color. And let's say we're gonna use some um, green. Some green here. You can do that. And then with your, um, with the bristle pen, I'm going to use water instead of just filling it up. We can mix it together to create our color. So that's what I quite like about using the porcelain plate with something like this. So that's, I think those are the most important things to have. As well as, of course, having a sketchbook so you can do this in. So what we might do is that we might paint... Um, we might paint mushrooms because they're easier. So let's have a look. Um, this mushroom, let's try and replicate it. We've got, let me pull this across so I can swatch it. We've got some yellow and it's fine. A little bit of pink. nice and bright and purple that's really bright colors there so we might actually use also a little bit of red like this brownie color to bring it all down again so I think we'll use these four colors and let me have a look at anything else we've got it also rich brown here so we can use kind of we can kind of use this to swatch so I've actually laid this out as if I was um, as if I was actually painting little swatches. Let's see, do we have a reference picture on this? No, we don't, that's okay. I'll take a picture on my phone and then we will use that as a reference for this um, video. Okay, now I'm just gonna set this up and then I'll just, Okay, so I've just moved the porcelain plate over here so that you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna start by doing a little um, a little sketch of the mushroom. So I'm just gonna pull up my reference picture of the front cover. And so the mushrooms are generally just like, I'm just using a regular gray pencil. Um, just gonna draw a little mushroom cap. Then the stem, and it comes together with the other stem. This one kind of overlaps a little bit. Okay, and then get this. So something simple like this as our outline. Now there's two ways to paint um, with this type of brush. So we'll see how, um, how these perform. I'm going to start with this one where I'm just gonna brush directly onto the page. So I'm going to just, just quickly just brush on a little bit of the gold at the top. And then um, I'm gonna use this brown color at the bottom. gonna blend upwards a little bit. Now the brown is actually a little bit purple so I'm gonna take this pen I'm gonna dip it in the purple a little bit just to tint the brush and then this curry is up a little bit and let's get a bit more purple in there and I think it also has just a tiny bit of pink in it so I've got this pink and this one brush just a tiny bit here and now with my um, bit of water 
I'm going to dip this brush in and I'm just going to blend these two together. Can you see how the um, that blends pretty quickly? And it kind of gets rid of the edge. There we go. looks nice and now I'm just going to go back with the let's see what colors it is it's mostly the pinky brown so I actually need a bit more purple I'm just gonna open this purple again and close this so that it doesn't dry out and with this burgundy-ish pen I'm gonna pick up a little bit more purple I'm not going to color the whole thing because the center of the stem has a little bit of um, lightness through it and we'll get we'll achieve that through water so I'm just gonna blend that upwards pick up a bit more purple to warm this up and it's not super warm so I'm just gonna also paint some purple directly on and then using the nylon brush that came with it I'm just going to brush up the stem so the ink um the ink of these brushes they um these pens sorry they stay pretty wet for a while so you've got some time to blend when you want to so i can achieve this like really nice gradient from the purple to the brown and it's gonna just dab this a little bit here sometimes with the nylon brushes you'll find that the tips um, they fray a little bit so you can just remove those extra hairs if it if it annoys you so um, You can do that if it happens And I'm just gonna fix the edges a little bit But that's one way to do that so you can paint you can paint directly on it by using the pen onto the onto the mushroom onto the paper sorry and draw a mushroom and then um, and then paint over it to do the blending or the other way you can do it is we can use this as an actual palette. So I'm going to wet this a little bit. I'm also going to lay down just a little bit more color. Oops, like I'm going to put a little bit more on my palette. So now similar to what we did before, I'm just going to pick up some yellow first. I'm going to paint. The yellow cap you can kind of see because I'm not painting directly onto the page this is very similar to actually using real watercolors it's not as pigmented as painting um, using the um, the pen directly on the paper so I'm going to pick up this purpley brown color at the bottom do some of this then also we've got a little bit of pink in the picture and now, and now I'm just going to blend the two together. I'm just going to buff in that line a little bit so that you don't have that harsh line um, because the inks are slightly dry. You kind of see it's worked pretty well. And I'm just going to put some brown in there. Just add a little bit of brown and like just a little bit more of this purpley color and it kind of it's like you're acting lovely in terms of like actual watercolors where the paint still runs up and does that little bloom and so then I'm also going to pick this up this extra color don't want them quite to touch because I want the stem to be slightly different join it up with this one and then I'm going to rinse now we're going to blend those two together. So basically that's um, that's kind of like the technique that you would use with these watercolor pens. So first one was drawing directly onto the page and then the second one was using it like um, actual watercolors and then just kind of like painting it on. So you can, with like greens and stuff, I like mixing it with a bit of yellow. You can kind of just like tint everything around it make a little ground plane 
But I think um, something like this, some a set like this is like a pretty good way to do your like beginner introduction to watercolors. So um, it's nice and fun, and then you can try it on a variety of papers. This is like this is a good little sketchbook to try with. There's a little bit of bleed through, but I think it's I think it's all right. Um, when you're doing just sketches because most of the time I don't if it's a sketchbook I only draw on one side of the paper so that's something so this set um, this set of these pens so the whole the whole 20 set as well as um, as well as this pencil case to put all your pens in afterwards is um, going to be part of my giveaway with um, my giveaway with notebook therapy over the next two weeks so it will end. It will end at the end of this month. So that's kind of cool. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I think this can also apply to using other pens like the Tombow brush pens. But I have had a lot of people ask me how I would use watercolor pens and paint with. So I thought I'd just give you a really quick tutorial. So I hope that was really helpful. Okay, thanks a lot, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.